Hello and welcome to another Night Shift. My name is Yazil, and today we want to see what happens with our dressed up Uma from the last episode. So last time we made our Uma uh, have new items. Um, so um, now we want to make these changes over the network. So if we, uh, for example, uh, get rid of this jacket and we put it in our bag, uh, we want to have it not only here and on our UMA, we also want to have it here on the other clients. So everybody knows which uh, or how our UMA uh, looks, and that's the goal for today. Uh, so, uh, yeah, well, let's get started. Here in our Yconst, um script we just add a new tag and a new subject so i have here the world update tag which is number nine and the update uma subject uh, for manipulating the uma after that we just send our stuff and that we do with or in the uma uh, add uma item uh, script we generated the last time or in the last video so here um, so here we using the uh, dark rift uh, namespace and here in the private variables we add the private variable player and call that underscore my p or my player or whatever you have there Here in the player ready function, we had the my player already. You had something like, or you have something like player player there. So just get rid of the players that we just have the variable from on top here and not from the private inside here. The rest should be uh, just the same uh, after that, but we have to decide where we send the or when we send the UMA, and I send the UMA after my UMA is dirty is done. So, if the function is running here and the UMA is updated locally, we know our UMA is in a state where it is or has the new um, closes on. And then we create a function send UMA. And here the function uh, or in the function uh, send UMA, we using the Duckworth writer, new Duckworth writer, and we write dot write um, from the player uh, script the function get um, UMA receive. And in, then we have a string what or which we could uh, can send uh, through the network, and that we do is to send message to others. So we want to inform everybody that we have a new uh, outfit. We use the world update tag and the uh, subject Uma uh, update. So then we write the uh, writer down here or up there through the network and inform everybody. Later on, we may want to change these uh, so only characters uh, or players in uh, different areas or in a single area, uh, like a city or like 100 units away or 50 units away will be informed that we uh, have new clothes on. So since we sent that through the network, we have to go in our player others script. And in the player others, which runs on every uh, player or every other player UMA, we going here for the receive data. And here you see we uh, looked if the sender ID, which we get in the uh, function sent to others, is equal to the network ID and if it's the case we do some stuff and here we add uh, the tag uh, world update tag and if it's the case we look if it's the UMA update or the update UMA subject and then we just use the dark reader 
and read the string out of the stream we receive. With that uh, UMA data, we uh, go into a function, update UMA, and say player manager decompress UMA data. Since this is a string and we want to have it as a byte, we need to decompress that to a byte. And that we do, uh, or that we use in a function update UMA, here's the byte, and we can generate an uh, UMA text receipt, call it receipt or whatever you like, and create a scriptable object, create instance UMA text receipt. Then we set the bytes from the receipt to our UMA data bytes we got out from the network. And after that, we say uh, to uh, our UMA dynamic avatar uh, .load that we want to use this receipt. After that, we just destroy that so it's not longer in the memory. That's all you need to update your UMA uh, through the network. Of course, I know uh, that um, every time we run through and change an item, we will send our new, new uh, stuff uh, through the network. Uh, but um, since uh, you uh, normally, in when you are in the game, only change one item at a time. Uh, it's not a big deal. On the beginning, when somebody logs on, um, of course, um, you get five or six messages from these. So you could uh, change something here in these uh, routine, uh, but I think it's not uh, very, very uh, hard if there is uh, a couple more on the beginning. Since we wait anyway, five seconds for uh, the UMA is generated anyway. I hope you liked it, and if you did, just hit the like button, and if you liked it even more, just subscribe to my channel. I would be more than happy to see the number going up. Thank you for watching my videos and um, happy night shift. See you soon.